Today we have a Learn Dash review and a Learn Dash tutorial. So I have featured Learn Dash on the channel plenty of times before, but a lot has actually changed since I last looked at it. So I'm going to have a look at the new features on Learn Dash. So um, probably the two things that they've done better since I last looked at it were the demo. So I've got a link in the description. You can check out a free demo. So they didn't used to do that. You can actually try it out before you buy it. So I think that's really nice. And the other cool new feature that they've launched is called Learn Dash Cloud. So Learn Dash Cloud gives you web hosting and it gives you the Learn Dash plugin included and they've set this up on WordPress for you so it's all optimized to run Learn Dash perfectly straight out of the box. So I really quite like that and you've got obviously got end-to-end -end support for your web hosting and your Learn Dash plugin included in this deal. So I think this is pretty decent. I think most people actually spend pretty close to this amount per month already on their web hosting and so this guarantees that your plugin is going to run smoothly on your web hosting for using Learn Dash. And of course, you can still buy the plugin separately. The WordPress plugin is still sold by LearnDash, so you can self-host the plugin on your own WordPress site as well, which is a great option if you've got an established server or established hosting, you can add the uh, LearnDash plugin on there as well. But if you're starting from uh, scratch and you're not used to using WordPress, I think that LearnDash Cloud is a cool option. So what I'm going to do in this demonstration, I'm going to log into a LearnDash Cloud um, dashboard. I'll show you the setup process and I'll show you what it's like using the Learn dash plugin. I'll show you a couple of different methods of setting up a course. First one, I'll do a video course. And second one, I'll use the course builder and do a text-based course as well. So I'll run you through all this in our tutorial and I'll give a review at the end. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. First time you log into your LearnDash account, it'll look like this. You'll have a temporary LearnDash.com subdomain where you can start getting set up. And I'll show you how to change this to a custom domain a bit later as well. You can see your WordPress admin panel through this button here. You can get your username and password through here. And you can actually get in through the back end and uh, through FTP or um, SSH um, through your server credentials there. So let's go ahead and get our WordPress login details here. So that will display our username and password to log into the WordPress dashboard. So go ahead, just copy that stuff. Keep that handy for later. I'm just going to paste mine into Notepad like that. And then we can go ahead and visit the admin panel. We can go ahead and log in with those uh, credentials that we got just then. So just go ahead, fill that out, remember me and log in. First time you log in, it's going to trigger this setup wizard, welcome to Learn Dash. We can go ahead and get started and go through the onboarding process. Or alternatively, if you're familiar with Learn Dash already, you can dismiss the setup wizard and just go to your standard uh, Learn Dash uh, WordPress dashboard and go through and start building the course. But either way is fine. I might actually go through the setup wizard and you can actually get back to that wizard through the setup on your uh, menu here. And you can just go ahead back to the setup your site here and start the first option there. And that will re-trigger that wizard. We can go ahead and get started like that. So just go ahead and set up a username and password here. And also note that you've got that temporary login URL here, but we can actually do the custom domain, which we'll show a bit later in the tutorial. Once you've done that, go ahead, click next. Now we fill in our site name, tagline, and upload a logo. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click next. Now we can choose what sort of course we're going to set up here. So you can have a simple text or video based course. You can have one that has a certificate from a quiz and you can have a timer on the quiz as well. So you can have a timed certificate and you can also have group courses, which are good for actual like training or classroom style courses as well. So choose what you want to do. I want to go with a simple one for this demo here and go ahead and click next. Now, do you want to charge for your courses? We can do a free course or we can do a paid course. So we can link this up with um, Stripe or through WooCommerce. So the simplest way is probably through Stripe directly and um, you can actually use WooCommerce as well, which gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more options. I've actually done this on a previous tutorial, which I'll put in the description as well. But I think for today, let's keep it simple and just do a Stripe connection. So let's click connect there. If you don't have a Stripe account already, you can head to stripe.com and just uh, get set up. This is totally free to um, sign up with Stripe and that allows you to accept payments on um, websites and apps and things. So this is really worth doing if you haven't already. Very straightforward. But you just put your email to your Stripe account in there and click continue. Now it asks for my Stripe password, so I'll pop that in there and go ahead and continue. And that will go ahead. Once you're all logged in, it'll automatically connect and send us back to Learn Dash uh, Setup Wizard. So you should have the green connected mark there and you can go ahead and choose what currency you'd like to use here. So I'm going to put USD in here for US dollars. They actually have the ISO uh, 4217 list of currencies there. If you don't know what your currency code is, you can find it through that link there. But USD should be good for most uh, international websites or obviously North American websites too. So go ahead and click next here. 
All right, so now we're at the summary of the wizard. So this is going to be a simple course where you can register and pay for a course, but we're not using certificates or we don't have multiple courses, so we don't need the course grid and we're not using WooCommerce, but you're free to add those as you like. And you can also add them at a later stage as well. That's totally fine as well. You don't have to do it at this point at all, but I want to keep things simple for this tutorial. So let's leave it as this and save and complete. So back on our setup here in our WordPress dashboard, we can see that we've completed the site setup and course details here and we've done um, payment configuration here so now we just have to start designing our site so we can select a starter template so let's select that one so LearnDash actually gives us some really nice templates to get started with. So these are pre-built designs that you can use for your course. Um, I quite like this one down here called Digital Course. This is based on the Cadence theme. The other one I quite enjoyed using previously was the LearnDash Academy one as well. So I'll link in the description where I set up with the LearnDash Academy theme. But um, I'm going to use this one. I really like this one called Digital Course. I think it's quite suitable. I'm going to select that one. You can actually preview them and have a closer look at them with that button as well, but I'm going to use Digital Course. Go ahead and click Next. So now we can choose our font combination here. They've got a few options for the um, fonts for headings and body text. So you can go ahead and click around in here and preview what they look like. Or you can revert back to the default one. I think the default one actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go with that for our demo here. Go ahead and click Next. And same deal with the color scheme. So you can actually choose the palettes you want to use for your template. I really like this. this is a nice feature that you get with the cadence theme for WordPress. So integrates really well with Learn Pre Learn Dash. So um, yeah, go go ahead, choose what you like. You can actually customize this further um, in the theme customizer later if you want. But go with something that's close to what you want for now. I'm going to go with the default option there. And go ahead and click next. So now we've got our template, our fonts and our colors all selected. We can go ahead, save and continue. And just wait for this to set up. It'll give you a progress bar here to just be patient while this finishes up. Great, so that is all on 100%. Now we can exit back to our setup. And now that we can see we have completed our setup site, our design of our site and our payment is all set up. Now we can go ahead and create, start creating courses and we can also launch our custom domain as well. And we can also view what we've done so far. If we go up to our site in the top left there, we can visit our site. I'll open that in a new tab here. We can see our digital course template. It's all here. Um, you can edit any of these pages you like going to edit page. So here it's just a matter of clicking on the content you want to edit and um, go ahead and change it to your preference. Now I've actually done complete tutorials on this um, cadence theme with the cadence blocks editor as well. So I'll put that in the description too. But this is pretty easy to use, basically point and click. Some things are a little bit trickier, like uh, for example, the background image here, you have to find that in the menu there um, with the background there. So you can find that like that. Um, but go ahead and check that video out if you haven't um, had much experience using WordPress in the block editor before because this is pretty easy to learn but I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial. Let's head back and keep working on our LearnDash course. So the next thing I really want to show you guys was if we go to our LearnDash LMS plugin here and we can actually see that we get a LearnDash bootcamp now. So this is a big improvement since I did the last review of this plugin. So what we've got here in the plugin itself is the LearnDash bootcamp. So you can go through this and they've got short tutorial videos for every step that you need to create and run your course. So creating courses with the course builder, adding lessons and topics, quizzes, user registration, selling the courses and so on. So this is all in the plugin itself. Um, really nice short videos. So you never really get stuck. They've got a uh, good explanation for every step that you'll need here. If we actually head over to courses, you'll see that they've got a test course. Um, you can have a look around in to see how they've actually put that together as a demonstration. And there's one more feature that I really like in this latest version is this one called create from video playlist. Let's check this feature out because I'm really excited about this one. So here we can actually enter a playlist from a number of video uh, hosting services. So YouTube, you can use a YouTube playlist, Vimeo Showcase, or a Wistia Project URL. So these popular video hosting platforms, you can use your videos from those platforms and put them into your Learn Dash course. So for example, I just made this quick uh, playlist with three videos here. I just called it uh, WordPress course. And this is an unlisted uh, playlist and I've got three unlisted videos here. I'm just gonna put that playlist URL from the actual playlist into our Learn Dash playlist URL entry here and we're gonna load that data from YouTube. And in a few seconds, it says the course, WordPress course will be created with three lessons. That's because we have those three videos, obviously. And it's actually gonna pull the titles and the description from the video. Um, if we have a look at one of these videos, we can actually see um, it's got the 
description in here, that's going to go automatically into our Learn Dash course and also the thumbnail from our video is going to go into our Learn Dash course all automatically. So let's go ahead and check this out. So first we have to decide what level of access we're going to have for the course. So open means anyone can come to our WordPress website and try the course. Um, there's no uh, password protection. Free means you can access the course for free, but you do need to register on the site. Um, so you uh, need to enter your email and generate a password so you can access, but it's free. Buy now means you have to pay uh, money through the payment process. In this case, we're using Stripe. We just enter a price and once they've gone through the checkout, then they get access to the course. So we're going to use that for this demonstration, but the other option is recurring. So you can have a subscription, say they want to pay a monthly fee recurring in order to remain a member of the course, or you can have closed, which is good for uh, real life classrooms where the teacher can manually enroll each student and set up their accounts for them like that. So that's closed. And how will you interact with the content? You can use it as linear, so they have to go through the um, lessons one by one, or you can set that as free form where the user can access any lesson they wish in any order they wish. So um, I'm going to set mine as free form and buy now. So let's go ahead and create that course. And now that looks like it's all done. We can actually uh, view, use the view link there. And there's our WordPress course. We can see we've got our three lessons there. If we check one of those lessons out, we can actually see this has automatically done this for us. So we've got adding posts in WordPress. We've got our video here all ready to go. We've got the description automatically in here. Um, when you're finished, you can mark it as complete and you can head over to your next lesson. So a uh, really cool uh, automated way of creating a course from a YouTube playlist. And there's also the more conventional way of adding a course with the add new button there. So we use the add new there. And then we can fill in some content, put in a title, put in a bit of an introduction paragraph here. The other thing that's really good um, in terms of adding content is you can use any WordPress blocks you like here. So given that we're using the cadence theme, the best one to use is the cadence blocks row layout. I've done lots of tutorials about the cadence, particularly with using this row layout. And you can access their design library here. And uh, for example, there's lots of pre-designed blocks where you can just add those in and really looks really good straight away and just customize your content. Um, so to get a professional outcome, was just, just a few clicks really. So um, really like uh, implementing Learn Dash with the Cadence theme and the Cadence blocks in that way. So go ahead and when, you, you, when you've set up your course, obviously click Publish and um, that is the main course page, but then you go to your course builder and this is where you fill out your lessons and quizzes and topics. And so this is where we design the structure of the page um, and the course itself. So I'm going to add a new lesson in here. Let's do one called uh, Intro to Blogging and add that one on. The other one I might do is one called, say, uh, Web Hosting. So I'll put one in there for Web Hosting, add that on. And you can just use lessons, but if you want, you can also make it even more fine grained in terms of adding, breaking them into separate topics as well. So let's say we wanted to add a topic for web hosting and we could add a topic there and I might call, um, say, Cloudways Manage Web Hosting might be a topic under web hosting. So once you've made any updates, remember to click update before you leave this page. So this is all saved in properly. And then with any of these lessons or topics, you can go into the edit section there. And again, this is just like editing a WordPress post using uh, the block editor. So we can go ahead, we can access those cadence blocks, or we can just use the standard editor there to add images and text as we need. Now, in terms of visual customizations, the cadence theme is pretty well implemented with Learn Dash in terms of what you can do in the theme customizer. So if we go to customize here, and you'll notice your Cadence theme actually has a Learn Dash section in Cadence itself. So you can actually change your um, course layout one of the obvious things you probably want to do straight away is change the background image under um, your course. So that's under course layout and under the design there, you've got course above area background. So we can go ahead and change that image to uh, whichever you'd like. So change image there, grab something out of your media library. I'll just try grabbing that one, for example, choose that. And there we go. So easy as that. You'll notice this image has a slight uh, transparent overlay applied to it as well. That is here. So you can adjust the um, opacity of that overlay as well to make the text more readable. If you like, you can change the, the shade of the color as well. So really nice customizations through that Cadence theme customizer. I actually did uh, a while ago do a complete tutorial about Learn Dash with Cadence in terms of using that theme customizer. So I'll put that in the description as well, um, that video, because that was quite useful uh, in terms of visual customizations to your course. 
Okay, so in terms of LearnDash review conclusions, I really like this latest version of LearnDash. They've done some excellent upgrades, particularly in terms of user experience. The onboarding process through this setup wizard is a big improvement. I really appreciated that. I think that makes uh, learning for new users much, much more smooth and easy. So I really like that. And also, I think that quick video course creation using the playlist tool through uh, YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia, I think that is a game changer. A lot of people already have course content on other systems or teachers have videos of their content already and you can convert that onto a LearnDash course using WordPress uh, just very quickly in just a few clicks. So I really appreciated that feature. So awesome work from that one. Uh, The course builder tool is quite good as well. Very intuitive. So all these updates were very nice and the LearnDash cloud where you host LearnDash on LearnDash itself, I think that was really good. So you've basically got WordPress hosting included with your LearnDash plugin for $29 a month at the moment. I think that's decent value in most cases. I think most people spend around $20 or $30 at least, maybe more. So if you get your hosting included with the plugin, I think that's good value in a lot of cases. I think for me, I'm happy to host it myself. Uh, I can host that for 5 or $10 on a cheap VPS. But if you don't know how to run your own VPS or run your own server, I think uh, money using it on their own managed service. I think that gives you good access to their support as well. So most um, hosts, I think this is a big point, most hosts only support the hosting, they don't support any plugins. But if you're obviously using LearnDash's hosting, LearnDash is gonna support their plugin and it's gonna support their hosting. So I think that is gonna give you much better access to support and it's gonna give you a much better um, safety net. If anything goes wrong, LearnDash is gonna support the hosting, it's gonna support its plugin. So that's really important. If you're a, um, a teacher, you don't want to worry about WordPress, you don't want to worry about web hosting, you just want to run your course, I think I can definitely recommend running it through that um, LearnDash cloud. And that's only a moderate price increase, like I said, compared to hosting. Good quality hosting probably costs close to that anyway, at least. So in conclusion, I think this is definitely still the best WordPress um, LMS plugin. It's definitely a little better than Tudor LMS. That's probably my next favorite. It's definitely ahead of Lifter, and all of these are well ahead of LearnPress. I think LearnPress, I featured that on the channel a few years ago, but it hasn't kept up with these ones. So in conclusion, LearnDash is still my go-to in terms of the best overall uh, LMS plugin for WordPress at any cost. I think Learn LearnDash is, is my go-to option there. So again, you can try it out for yourself. That demo is free. That link is in the description. So check that out. But um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.